Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft video. My name is JTech and today we're going to be taking a look at another redstone tutorial. And this one's going to be about this nice 4x4 vault door you, see, you can see behind me. Um, so it's not the fastest design out there, but it's relatively quick. And I try to make it um, relatively compact, so the sides here are as compact as they can possibly be because they're in the footprint of the pistons themselves. Um, the top can be improved a little bit as this redstone line is one block above the pistons and the bottom sides can definitely be improved as well because there are two blocks underneath. But uh, I didn't really feel like I had to do that, so this is what you're gonna get. So, um, yeah, it's uh, a little bit difficult to build. It has um, some interesting mechanics, as you can see over here. It makes use of a minecart and a detection reel, and I'll explain why that is in a little bit. First, let's take a look at what we need to build it. So, the items you're gonna need for this are 62 white wool. This can actually be any block. This includes the blocks that you're going to be placing the redstone on and the blocks that the door is going to be made of. And next you're going to need 36 sticky pistons. There, going to need, there needs to be sticky pistons, 16 observers, 12 redstone dust, 4 droppers. They can be obs uh, they can be dispensers as well, but they're more expensive, so I did droppers. 4 redstone repeaters, 4 redstone torches, 4 target blocks. 2 redstone blocks, 2 detector rail, 2 glass, 2 hoppers, 1 lever, and you're also gonna need 2 minecarts. They can be any type of minecart, but I'd recommend the normal minecart as they're the most cheap to make. Right, so now that you know everything you're gonna need for this, let's actually start with the tutorial. So the first thing we're gonna do here is just place 4 pistons like this. You can place your uh, 4 wall blocks. Here, we're gonna just start by laying out all the pistons. By doing this, we have a clear view of everything we're gonna need to do and all the redstone we need to place. We're just gonna fill in the door frame right here. So it's gonna be four wide in the bottom and then three long. Same for the walls, four high. And then just like that, and you can fit it in. So for the top it's exactly the same as the bottom, you just place your pistons down here like so, facing down. And then on the, for the sides I'm just going to temporarily remove these, place a temporary block, your two pistons there, temporary block, piston, and then fill those in, pistons here. So you should have this T shape of sticky pistons all facing that the, the in, in, inside of the door. And then you're going to do exactly the same on the other side. So, temporary block, piston, sticky piston, uh, temporary block, sticky piston, fill those in, sticky pistons here, fill on the blocks again. So this is basically uh, the piston layout that you're going to use for this door. So now let's get to the extra redstone parts. So we're going to start off down at the bottom here. So we're going to place uh, our wall blocks here. So they cover all the pistons. Then you're gonna grab an observer. Well, you're gonna grab a temporary block. Place it down here. You can place your observer, remove it. You can put the blocks down back in their original spots now or do it later. Then you wanna position yourself correctly. Look at this pixel here and place them. This way they're gonna be, these uh, observers are gonna be facing down as well. So now they Look down, face up, with the arrow here. Then you're gonna place a sticky piston. Oh, we're gonna do this side first. You're gonna place a sticky piston there with a redstone block on its face. You're gonna go and place a block here, redstone dust. Then you're gonna take a target block, place it right here. Place a redstone torch on top. Then you're gonna grab yourself your droppers, place one right here, it doesn't matter in what direction it's facing. You want to place a redstone torch on the side, then you want to grab yourself another observer, place it there, grab yourself a 
popper, place it there. Now that's all we're gonna do for now. We're gonna expand it later, but this is what we're gonna keep it for now. Because we're gonna repeat that same pattern on the other side. So that means piston there, then redstone block, then your block here, redstone there, target block, redstone torch, then you want your other dropper, place that there, and then place your redstone torch there, observer, and a hopper. So finally to finish off the bottom side you're gonna place two droppers right here, an observer facing this direction and an observer facing this direction. As you can see right there. So now for the top side, we're gonna place an observer here, then we're gonna play, grab ourselves a sticky piston, place it there, place a block here, then we wanna grab a detector rail and a minecart, we want to place the detector rail like so, and then a minecart here. Now, what we want to do is we want to go over here and wanna place a uh, temporary block here. Then we want to grab a observer, uh, not, not a temporary block here, just uh, a temporary block here. Place your observer facing down, remove the block. I'm gonna place another block over here, place redstone dust over here, and repeater set to four ticks facing that side. Now this um, double piston extender circuit, um, I don't know uh, if he was the first one to make it, uh, but the first one I saw using it was uh, the bow tie man. He was the first one I saw using it, and I think he designed this as well. Not 100% sure, but I think it he was. Uh, it was originally designed for the Bedrock Edition, but it also works on Java. So, yeah. And it's really useful for doors like these. So, next, you're going to place a target block here. You're going to place another observer facing down. You're going to place a redstone repeater facing that direction, set the three ticks. Just like that. I'm gonna place all of these blocks back. Oh, no. Nah. Well, this is just because we need to have it there. And then the entire door extends. So I'm gonna put it there. And it should retract the pistons. There we go. Because now what happens um, is that this piston extends the detector rail. So the. Uh, at first I wanted to use a redstone block here, but then the redstone block would um, put power this piston here, which we don't want. So we have a detector rail, which currently doesn't have a minecart on it. But when this piston pushes, it reaches here, It goes the minecart goes on top of it, so it, 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 it acts as a redstone block. But when it retracts, it doesn't take the minecart with it, so it acts as just a normal block. So, now that we have that built... Let's repeat it on the other side. So, same thing, block here, observer here, piston here, place a detector rail here, minecart over here. Then we want to make our double piston extender. So we're gonna go and put a observer facing down over here, a block here, redstone here. Then we want to have a uh, repeater from the inside going outwards. We want to have another uh, observer and then a repeat set of three ticks, target block here. So, um, now that we have that done, let's do the top. So, we're gonna place an observer here and a line of blocks right here. And then we're gonna place redstone all along here. Same thing here, observer and a redstone on top. Just to make it symmetrical. Alright. So, next up is we gonna, uh, that we're just gonna run uh, this circuit once we're placing the redstone block here, moving it again and placing it here. And now uh, that minecart thing has reset, we can place our blocks back, and that should be the door completed. Now the next thing you need, the last thing you need is you need an input, so you need to power, you need to hard power one of these. So what I mean by that? is that you can't have a block here and then power the block because that will only power this observer, uh, this um, 
dropper which will power only this observer so these will trigger you need to power it directly so what i mean by that is by having um either a redstone dust here a repeater here or just by placing a lever on the side which i'm gonna do for now so as you can see that closes and it's double sided as well and then again it closes again so yeah that is basically it you can also power it from the other side if you want to and just like i said before if you want to power it from somewhere else you can just place a, a repeater over here and then you can oh, oh, i powered it too quickly um <laughs> i broke something but it's just that you have to be careful that you don't power the door too quickly so um as you can see if i was to just place something like this here with no blocks oh that's just a texture pack i have it's a little bit strange it's it's because of also if you're wondering why i'm wearing this skin it's because of the island wars things that are coming up uh it's the same why i have these textures on the no blocks um, that act weirdly because I don't have the plugin on this world at the plugins but um, yeah so that's just a little bit strange uh, so if I place a no block normally it acts normal but when I place a block underneath it yeah does weird things but yeah um, so we're gonna place a redstone block on there so when we press the no block the door opens and I uh what did I mess up oh I see so if you have this issue as well you just need to place a red break the redstone torch place it again that will power the circuit quickly once more and that will reset it so let me just place these back in again You don't have to do all this fixing stuff if you just do everything correctly and don't mess it up. Alright, so... As you can see, you can trigger a door from here as well. So, yeah, that's basically it for this door tutorial. For this restaurant tutorial about this uh, cool door here. So you can just frame it in, just like this. And you have a very cool 4x4 vault door. Uh, it's working um, in 1.18. And as you can see, it works very well. I want to thank you so much for watching. Hope I see you in, your, in my next video. And I'll see you later. Bye.